How does the new HTC One compare to the iPhone 5? Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from Pocket Now, and in this video, we're gonna compare these two guys, so let's get to it. So this is an interesting comparison because the HTC One is inspired by the iPhone 5, and don't let anyone tell you otherwise. The iPhone 5 was one of the first devices to have kind of this all aluminum construction with the metal on the back. And the metal on the back means that when you pick up the phone, it's cool to the touch. It's a really interesting sensation that feels super high quality. A lot better when you're considering build quality than Samsung's all plastic phones. And on the HTC One, it's a little bit more dramatic than that in terms of the use of aluminum. The entire backing is aluminum here instead of just sort of this center part. So a lot of coolness in your hand when you pick it up. Another way that the HTC One is inspired by the iPhone 5 is the iPhone 5 has a chamfered edge. But unfortunately on the iPhone 5, it is extraordinarily fragile. If you're not using a case, within a few short months, these edges that were once beautiful and shiny are going to get chewed up. We did a durability report on the iPhone 5 and found that this phone is so incredibly fragile. In fact, the aluminum on the back has gotten nicked down here and scratched, and I've even got a scratch up here in the glass. HTC claims that the one is more Durable, and we really hope that is the case because we've got the chamfered edges here as well on the front and the back So you get that ruggedness of a large metal phone But it also looks a little bit fancy and something that you could take out with you at a bar and and have look good sitting next to you Got the chamfered edges as mentioned. We'll do a durability report coming up in about a month or two to let you know how the HTC One is holding up to the test of time. Hopefully it's not as fragile as the iPhone 5. Now in terms of in-hand feel, the iPhone 5 is really made for people that like to have a better one-handed experience. You can reach all corners of the screen by just using your thumb. Uh, because it's got a four inch screen, a modest size screen. On the HTC One, we've got still a relatively modest size screen, I guess in today's standards with the Galaxy S4 going up to five inches. We've got a 4.7 inch screen, but even people with large size hands are gonna have trouble uh, moving around on the screen without taking out a second hand to steady the phone, which is not that big of, the, big of a deal. Now one way that these phones are very different is how they look on the front. We've got two front firing speakers, boom sound, which makes the HTC One extremely loud. Although previous to the one, the iPhone 5 held the place as the loudest phone because it had a really good speaker phone, didn't, doesn't display, doesn't distort it all, just sounds really good. We're gonna have a test on boom sound versus the iPhone 5 and some other devices so you can see how the HTC One compares in terms of loudness. Now in terms of other dimensions, if we flip them over to the back and we place them flat on the table here, the iPhone 5 is indeed thinner than the HTC One but only at this thickest point. You see, HTC does this party trick where it has a really thin edge and then it gets thicker and so what you feel in your hand is this thinner edge and it kind of wraps around and it's got a nice little smile thing kind of like Nokia phones. Just feels good in the hand and it feels thin with this edge. So if we compare just the edge, the HTC One actually feels a little bit thinner in the hand uh, if you're comparing them that way. Now if we stack them like so, we see that the HTC One is significantly wider, as mentioned, significantly taller there. In terms of weight, the HTC One is 143 grams, so relatively hefty, but it doesn't feel that heavy. And the iPhone 5 is still one of the lightest phones ever made, 112 grams. This thing is crazy light, but you know, the HTC One doesn't feel so bad in the hand itself. Okay, so let's turn on the displays here. We're not gonna do a boot up test because the HTC One is going to win. It's got fast boot. It turns on so incredibly fast. Now I've got both of these devices set at maximum screen brightness, as you can see. Here, so we can really compare apples to apples a little bit here in terms of looking at the quality of the screen. Now, something to note is screen resolution. We've got 1136 by 640 on the iPhone 5. That's a 326 PPI. Uh, the HTC One kind of kills it in terms of uh, PPI here. We've got 1920 by 1080. That's a full HD at 468 PPI. You can't see pixels on either of these. Uh, so it really comes down to screen quality. So as we can see here, we're looking at a white screen and the whites on the iPhone are definitely whiter than what we get on the HTC One, which isn't to say that the HTC One has a bad screen because it doesn't. It has an amazing screen. Just in this case, uh, in terms of contrast, at least the iPhone 5 is a little bit better. So we're going to go into the web browser and do some speed tests. Of course, we've got iOS here, iOS 6, uh, which is in 
total need of redoing. It is old, it is boring, it's the same old thing uh, since uh, the iPhone came out in 2007, basically, and Android keeps evolving. We get new updates to Google now. It gets faster with Jelly Bean. And you know, HTC Sense makes Android look elegant and pretty. So it's taking a very functional, pretty good looking Android base and making it even better. So we're gonna go into the web browser here and we're going to uh, let's start off with Google and we're gonna look at some images, compare screen quality a little bit more. So we're gonna go over here to images and go to images. Doot, doot. We're gonna type in beach here. All right, we're both over the same Wi-Fi network here. It says, please wait, logging in or something. Okay, here we are, we have the same results. And now take a look at this. Let's see how many rows of images we get to see on the iPhone. One, two, three, four, five. And on the one, one, two, three, four, five, six, plus a little bit more. That's what you get with a higher resolution screen. You can see more on the screen at one time, less scrolling. Let's tap on this. And what we can see here is too, again, very good screens. The whites are a little bit whiter. Uh, the colors are very natural on both. In fact, I really can't tell a difference. Look at the green in the tree and the blue in the sky. They're very similar, just the sand is a little bit whiter on the iPhone 5. So over here in this picture, pretty much the same story here. The iPhone 5 is just a little bit brighter, a little bit more contrasty, and we have a back, bra a back black round here. And you can see that the black on the iPhone 5 is more of a deep black, almost AMOLED-like. On the HTC One, it's still a nice black, but it's a little bit gray. So let's do a web browsing speed test now. Bring up the address bars. We'll go to pocket now here. All right, one, two, three, go. Might go to the mobile site. Okay, and they're off, and the HTC One looks to be going ahead, and the iPhone 5 finished first. We have not found a phone yet that beats the iPhone 5 in terms of web browsing speed, and maybe the HTC is the one to do it. Uh, we've got a Qualcomm Snapdragon 600 quad-core CPU here on the HTC One with two gigabytes of RAM. The iPhone 5 is a dual-core A6 CPU with one gigabyte of RAM. So let's flick down the page. No checkerboarding, no white space, that's good. Likewise, with the HTC One, let's pinch to zoom, see how long it takes to, for text to clear up, release. Literally at the same time. Let's click on this headline, see which gets there first. Watching the progress bars, progress bar. And iPhone 5 finished slightly ahead. Let's check screen rotation speed. Uh, that was actually the HTC One beat the iPhone 5 there, about equal, really tough to tell. Let's zoom in, make text really big on the screen, so maybe we can get a sense for pixels. See if you can see any pixels. The iPhone 5 zooms in more, so let's try to get it about the same size as the HTC One. I'm going to bring the screens close to the camera and see if you can see any pixels at all. So here's the iPhone 5, very clean, can't see pixels, uh, and on the HTC One, you're definitely not going to be able to see pixels. I mean, there are just so many uh, dots on the screen making up the image. It's just really difficult to see pixels. And let's see which of these devices opens third-party apps faster. Probably the most uh, level playing field kind of thing we can do. Let's launch Facebook, one, two, three, Facebook. Uh, at the exact same time, let's check out YouTube. iPhone 5 got there first, and let's go to Twitter, wherever that is. Here it is, one, two, three, Twitter. Okay, it was faster on the HTC One. Uh, so in terms of device speed, both of these devices are very, very fast. The iPhone 5 comes out a little bit ahead in terms of web browsing performance, but the HTC One is absolutely no slouch. So the iPhone 5 is a phone that we know is great. It's fast, it's capable, it has good hardware, although the hardware is fragile. The HTC One has awesome characteristics, plus it's new and exciting. It's got a design that no other phone has. It has real innovative features uh, like boom sound and an all metal design. And it's just a pleasure to use compared to the iPhone, which feels like a phone from 2007 that's been modernized a bit with better hardware. Uh, and faster hardware. So the choice is yours. Which do you think is better? Do you have an iPhone 5 and are looking to upgrade to the HTC One? Let us know what you think, how these phones compare in the comments. We've got a lot more comparisons coming up. Thanks for watching, and that's it for now.